Hey guys, it's Travis Selle, and welcome to Power Yoga Fierce Compassion. This class is from Inner Dimension TV, our monthly streaming platform where you can get unlimited access to all of my programs, series, and classes. Programs like Level Up 108, PY 108, Flexibility and Beyond, and much more. If you're interested in starting your 10 day free trial, I'll drop a link down below. Check it out. Also, remember to hit that subscribe button down below. And now, Let's go ahead and jump into our flow. All right, welcome to Fierce Compassion. We're gonna get started by spreading the feet out about shoulders width distance and then just folding over and down with a little bend in the knees. Grab opposite elbows with your hands, creating a box to go around your head. Nod your head, yes and no, little gentle bounce up and down. And a little sway side to side as you start to move the wind of the breath. Nice and fluidly in and out through your nose. So we breathe in and out through the nose so that we can shape and we can sculpt our breath in a way that becomes more in alignment with the resources that we need to move through the ferocity of our class, but to do it in a steady, kind, compassionate way. Release the hands, the arms down, keep a little bend in the knees, take a couple breaths to slowly ragdoll and roll your way all the way up to standing. As that head lifts up, go ahead and bring those arms up above you on the inhale. Hands to prayer position on the exhale. Spread the arms out like a W, gently lean back and look up on the inhale. Palms together on the exhale as the bottom front ribs come down and in. Two more like that. Inhale, little backward bend, opening your front body up. And then exhale, palms together to center, to reconnect. One more time, inhale, the heart is the source of all things benevolent, including compassion. And exhale, palms together, back and side. From here, both arms come up on the inhale, grow long, get tall. And then forward fold on the exhale, melt over and down. Flat back on the inhale, extend the heart out. And then on the exhale, step back to plank. Go ahead and lower down, same exhale, keeping your elbows in. And then cobra on the inhale, so nice little backward bend, massage. And then exhale back to downward facing dog. From down dog, we're just gonna lift the right leg off the ground, parallel to the floor on an inhale. And then right knee to the belly on the exhale as you activate the core. Inhale, right leg drives back. And then on the exhale, right foot top of the mat. Spin the back left foot flat on the ground. And then go ahead and rise up, warrior one pose. Right toes forward, arms vertical to the sky. Little fingers turn in slightly as the top of that right thigh draws down and the outer edge of your left foot sealing strong into the mat. Straighten your right knee, right leg. Take an inhale, reach up and then lean back. And then exhale, go ahead and fold over and down on top of your right leg, either bringing your hands on top of your shin, a couple of blocks, ankle, or maybe all the way down onto the floor to frame your right foot, right leg. Let your neck release, let your jaw release as you stretch all that tissue across the back of the right leg. And of course, at the same time in yoga that we're creating muscular strength, we're also cultivating muscular flexibility, suppleness, and length. Pressing down into the lower body on an inhale, reverse what you just did, bring those arms all the way up above. And then on the exhale, simultaneously bend your right knee, open the arms out and sweep the arms out in front of you, palms to the sky. And 
then inhale open the arms out same inhale bring those arms up and check this out we call this the warrior bow on the exhale you're going to lower your torso your right arm with your right elbow bent we'll come down to your inner right knee right calf and the right palm faces the heart and that left palm faces away from the body so over towards the right side so essentially you're stretching deep into that right hip again we call this the warrior's bow back up to warrior one drive into the lower body inhale reach those arms up to the sky and then exhale vinyasa so we'll lower all the way down same out breath cobra on the inhale and then down we're facing dog use the core to pull the hips up and back second side inhale left leg up nice and steady left knee to the belly feel the power in the abdominals inhale drive the left leg back and then exhale left foot top of the mat back foot spins flat and then rise up vira bhadrasana one as you spin that outer right hip forward and find the alignment within that pose supported by the consistency and the continuity of the breath spilling deep in and out through the nose straighten the left knee left leg take an inhale lean back maybe look up and then exhale just fold out over top that left foot left leg so as you take your body on this journey in and out of all these different positions postures and poses just notice what arises sensations that come and go some poses you enjoy and love some poses that you despise and hate some poses that you feel maybe neutral about but how that's constantly changing so let your mind be like a Teflon pan that never allows anything to stick to it. Likes or dislikes. You just allow this stuff to come and go. That's called freedom. Pressing down into the lower body. On the inhale, both arms all the way up. And then exhale, bend that left knee. Sweep those arms all the way out in front with that piercing focus. Beautiful, inhale, arms out, arms up to the sky. Here comes that new pose, the warrior bow. On the exhale, bring your left shoulder, left elbow inside of that left knee. Left palm faces the heart. And right palm faces away from the body. Exploring that sensation deep in that left hip cavity. And then back up to warrior one on the inhale the breath leads and guides the way and exhale vinyasa lower down with muscle with strength with control inhale flood the lungs with oxygenation and then exhale back downward facing dog take an inhale press back and then exhale you can walk or jump top of the mat flat back inhale Forward fold, exhale, bend the knees and squat. And then chair pose. Reach those arms all the way up. Spreading those hands out a little bit wider than the shoulders. Wrapping those little fingers in and activating the power down in the lower body, especially your hips and your glutes. Take a good by and hell there in chair. And then stand up, hands to prayer on the exhale. And now we flow. So here's where it gets to be a little bit more fierce, but still mixing that with the compassion. Inhale, open the arms out, lean back, look up. Exhale, palms together, moving on. Inhale, arms come up. And then forward fold, exhale, dive. Flat back, inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down, vinyasa. Cobra or up dog inhale and then down dog exhale in the flow right leg up inhale to the belly exhale squeeze inhale right leg back exhale right foot top of the mat back foot flat inhale rise warrior one straighten the right knee exhale lean back inhale 
fold on top of right leg exhale come back up inhale arms above exhale bend the front knee arms out sweep them to the front inhale arms out arms come up and then warrior bow on the exhale right arm inside of right leg back up to warrior one because we're in a flow exhale vinyasa lower down in that yoga zone inhale timeless and present exhale down dog inhale left leg up exhale belly to touch inhale pierce back exhale top of the mat inhale rise from steadiness exhale straighten the leg inhale lean back exhale spill on top of left lap come back up inhale rise exhale bend the front thigh arms out into the front good inhale arms out bring them up above and then take that bow on the exhale you deserve it inhale warrior one reach and exhale vinyasa lower down defying gravity inhale bend that spine with sensitivity exhale down dog inhale press back exhale walk or fly top of the mat flat back inhale fold exhale bend the knees chair pose inhale arms up stand up hands to prayer we get another round inhale open out and spread exhale palms together inhale lift and reach exhale dive and release flat back inhale your breath is your power exhale vinyasa your breath is your fuel inhale tap into that exhale down dog inhale right leg up exhale belly touch inhale cruise back exhale top of the mat inhale warrior one exhale straighten the leg inhale little cardio flow exhale drop down low inhale rise back up exhale bend the knees sweep it out to the front inhale bring it out and lift it up exhale take the bow with humility good inhale rise lift and reach and exhale vinyasa chaturanga dandasana inhale cobra bhujang asana exhale down dog inhale left leg up exhale tap and touch inhale draw long exhale deep and strong inhale strong but light exhale straighten the thigh inhale lean back exhale hit that perfect spot good inhale not too much not too little exhale bend the knees arms to the front inhale open out and lift above exhale take the bow inhale rise and reach them high exhale vinyasa lower down and enjoy the yoga ride inhale blending breath body and mind exhale down dog inhale press back like a rubber band exhale walk or slingshot flat back inhale fold exhale bend the knees chair pose inhale arms up stand up hands to prayer hold there take a big inhale through the nose and then out the mouth exhale let it go Woo! good job you guys from here we're going to lean into that right foot you're going to bend your left heel in towards your left hip you're going to reach back left hand's going to grab the inside of your left foot left ankle take the right arm lift it up keep breathing and then dancer's pose known as Nataraj Asana. So you start to lean forward, extend out through that right arm. Keep the outer left hip turning down as you draw that left shin back. Now check this out. See if you can rotate the right palm up to the sky on an inhale. Turn the right palm down on an exhale. Two more inhale, open the palm up and then exhale, turn it down. One more time, inhale, rotate it up, and then exhale, rotate it down. Hold there. Take a good by inhale, slowly come up. Sometimes the exit 
is the hardest part. Back to mountain pose. Lean into that left foot. Bend your right heel in, reach back, grab the inside of your right foot, right ankle with your right hand. Keep the inner thighs drawing in towards each other, adductors engage, left arm up, start leaning forward. Sometimes when we're balancing or we're really focused on something, we forget the breath. Can you never allow a breath to go by where you're not sucking that oxygen down deep as possible? Flip that left palm up, inhale. Turn it down, exhale. Rotate it up, inhale. Turn it down, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale, hold there. Take a good by inhale. And then exhale, slowly come back up. Right foot on the ground, hands to prayer. On the inhale, circle those arms up to the sky. Forward fold, exhale, come all the way down. From here, you're gonna start to bend the knees, lift the heels, come up onto the tips of the toes. Set the hands down, shoulder width apart. As you climb the knees, high up the triceps. Draw those knees in, start to gradually lean forward. Perhaps you lift one or both feet off the ground. Crow pose, Bakasana. Breathe, take an inhale there, and then jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, up dog, how did that go? Exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a big inhale through the nose, and out the mouth, exhale, let it go. Oh, good, right leg up, inhale. Right foot top of the mat, exhale, spin the back foot flat, and then we'll come up to a warrior two. So reverse cartwheel, those arms all the way up. Sit that groin down deep and low, and notice both arms right in alignment with each other. Now straighten the right knee, right leg, scoot the back foot in a little bit closer, feet lined up heel to heel, right toes forward, Left toes angle slightly forward. On the inhale, you're gonna reach out to that right arm, left hip kicks back, and then triangle pose. So right hand on top of your shin, your ankle, a block, the floor, wherever it feels right. Keep breathing. From here, you're gonna lift your right hand up to your heart. Again, in honor of that, that energy of compassion. Poet Khalil Gibran says that kindness and compassion are like snow. They beautify everything that they touch. So allow that compassion to infuse into every little micro movement that you do. Start to bend that right knee and then half moon balancing pose with that right hand lifted up to your chest and your heart. So there's the fierceness, right? Not easy just balancing on your right foot, right leg. But even in those moments of challenge, of intensity and struggle, can you still keep the compassion as part of the matrix of the experience? Now slowly drop the right hand down. Now you got that on the floor and you could even use a block there if you want. Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Put a little bend into that right knee and then float step back to warrior two. Reverse the warrior inhale, and then cartwheel the hands down to the ground on the exhale. Step back to plank, and then side plank. We're gonna lean onto the outer edge of the right foot. Your right hand's on the ground, left foot stacks on top of that right foot, left arm comes up, and if this is too much, drop the right knee down. But if you want more, start to lift your left foot up a little bit, you still want more, bend the left foot in, reach back with your left hand and grab that left foot. Breathe. Good, can you wrap the outer right shoulder back? Can you spin that inner right elbow forward? Can you keep the breath in the flow? Can you keep the mind in that compassionate zone even through the challenge, even through the difficulty? 
Now left leg back, left arm to the sky. Take a good bye inhale there. And then left hand on the ground, back to plank. Take an inhale there, drop the right knee down. Lift the left leg up and then extend the right arm forward and out. I never mind the ferocity because I ultimately I know it's there to help me tap into my potential. Take the right arm out to the right. Take the left leg all the way over to the left for what we call awkward airplane hip stretch. Notice how your left ankle is in alignment with your left hip. So some of you need to bring your left leg, left foot forward a little bit. Looking, gazing down, reaching out to that right arm. Come back to sunburn, left leg back, right arm forward. Start to bend the back left foot in, reach back with your right hand and grab that left foot. And through the sweat and through the struggle and through the muscular fatigue, know that you're forging your body through this fire of transformation. Take one last inhale, half bow, and then left leg back, right arm straight out in front. Take a good by inhale there, and set everything down, tabletop pose, exhale. Step back to plank, upper push-up, setting up three yogi style push-ups. Inhale down, halfway chaturanga, exhale push-up, plank, two more. Inhale down, exhale rise. One more time, inhale, exhale, come up. Now hold there, take a conscious inhale, and then lower down slow without collapsing, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale, maybe even a little smile on the face. Exhale back, down dog. Left leg up, inhale. Left foot deep, exhale, back foot flat. Warrior two, go ahead and rise all the way up. Take a breath and a moment or two there. Taking it one pose at a time, one breath at a time, one moment at a time. You got this. Straighten that left knee, left leg. Scoot that back foot in a little closer. Get the feet and legs set. And then inhale, reach out. And then exhale, triangle pose. For a moment, left hand comes down. Right arm up to the sky. Breath, always the foundation of the class. Lift your left hand up to your heart. Turn the gaze down. Start bending that left knee. And then when you're ready, balancing on your left foot, left leg, the compassionate half moon balancing pose. Now for a lot of us, it's easy to give compassion to others but we don't do it to ourselves. Keep this in mind, the circle of compassion will never be complete if it doesn't also include yourself. Left hand down, put a little bit into that bottom left knee and then float step back to warrior two. Reverse the warrior on the inhale, cartwheel the hands down on the exhale, step back to plank, press pause, feet together, Swivel onto the outer edge of that left foot, stack the right foot on top, lean into that left hand, and reach the right arm all the way up to the sky, remembering you could dilute the intensity by dropping the left knee onto the floor at any point. If you want more, right leg up. Still want more, bend that right foot in, reach back, right hand grabs. And sometimes compassion requires honesty and truthfulness to be able to look into the mirror at ourselves and to call ourselves out, to see our blind spots, to know that we're always gonna be there in the most compassionate but truthful ways of having our best selves at heart. Right leg up, right arm up, inhale. Right hand down, exhale, plank. Woo! Take an inhale, plank. Drop the left knee down, lift the right leg up. Extend the left arm forward and out. It's easy to stay calm when everything is effortless and sweet, when the expectations are being met. But how about when you're in the storm, when you're in the battle, can you still stay calm, kind, and compassionate? Left arm out to the left, right leg over to the right. 
And it's all about your breath. Your breath is the through line. The more challenging the pose or the series or the sequence, the more that you wanna utilize your breath to be the river current, to carry your body like a raft downstream. Right leg back, left arm forward, bend the back foot in, reach back, grab it. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Peel the right shin back. Extend the heart forward and out. Take a final climactic inhale, goodbye. Right leg back, left arm forward. Inhale, full expression. Exhale, set it down. Tabletop. Step back to plank. Three more yogi style push ups. Here we go. Inhale, chaturanga. Exhale, plank. Inhale, strong. Exhale, calm. One more round. Inhale. Exhale, press. Take an inhale there. And exhale, lower slow. Huge inhale, chest, lungs, heart spread wide. Exhale, down dog. Tuck the toes. Lift the hips and congrats, everybody. Because you made it to your last down dog. Take a final goodbye inhale there. Relax the knees down onto the ground. Crawl the knees forward. Cross the feet behind you. Release onto the sit bones. Extend your legs straight out in front of you. Bring your hands behind you, shoulder width apart. Fingers forward, point the toes forward and down. Take an inhale there. And then exhale, lift the front of the body up to the sky, upward facing plank. So rooting down into the palms to create the lift. You can't have the lift without the press or what we call the root to rise, the apana and the udana. Take one last inhale open and exhale lower down. Sweep those arms up above on the inhale and then seated forward fold on the exhale, just melting over and down. So you start to slow, slow things back down. The endorphins have been released. The blood has been purified and alkalized. And a good reminder that yoga practice helps you to tap in to the greatest healthcare provider that ever existed. The one that exists inside of you. Slowly roll yourself all the way back up. Come down onto your back, all the way down onto your mat. Hug the right knee in, left leg extends out. Open the right arm out to the right. Take your right knee over into a twist. Bring the right knee back up to middle. Left knee up to join the right. As you're ready, other side, left arm out to the left. And left knee drapes all the way over to the right. And then left knee all the way back up to middle. Both knees into the belly. Take a good by inhale, curl the forehead up, give it a little squeeze and exhale. Shavasana, release into relaxation and into stillness.
nice and easy come back to the breath come back to the sensation of the body being supported bring with you whatever it is that you just dropped into grabbing the chin strong the knees in gently rock and roll your way up to seated sit up tall bring the hands to prayer in front of the chest eyes closed as you give gratitude to your practice today for bringing you back to the quality of compassion and allowing that compassion to inspire everything that you think say and do one last final deep inhale through the nose out the mouth exhale let it go when you're ready open up the eyes much health much wealth much love to you namaste all right you guys congrats you made it through that class i know for a lot of you maybe it wasn't the easiest class in the world but the greater the challenge the greater the opportunity for growth so i want to thank you for your practice and applaud you for sticking it out remember to check out inner dimension tv by clicking on that link below to start that 10-day free trial that's it for this one i hope to see you soon and i hope we can do it again thank you Thank you.